This is the AutoArt Lamborghini Aventador Liberty Walk or LB Performance in what they're calling metallic white. And AutoArt has been making Aventadors for a very long time. And they've been producing Liberty Walk versions of the Aventador for a very long time. This one has the later body kit. I would call it the version 2. The version 1 was a little bit cleaner. This one is a little more aggressive. There's a third one. It's a silhouette kit that's very aggressive. So you could say consider this in between those two. Just start out with the shape of the car to the real thing or the model to the real car. It is very accurate. Um, again, they've been making these for a very long time, so Auto Art's really perfected the the shape of the uh, model to fit or look exactly like the real car. The wheels, typical Auto Art, very accurate, um, very neat, clean, no issues with that. Um, it has a ceramic brake in the back. The calipers are painted correctly. They have the lettering on it, which has the LB works on the caliper. And that is accurate to the real thing. A um, couple of criticisms I'm going to mention is one, there's no valve stem, which I'm really surprised because AutoArt typically would have the valve stem. There's no valve stem on these rims. And I don't think that's some aftermarket thing where Yeah, I don't think that's some aftermarket thing where they hide it somewhere. There's no valve stem on these. The other thing that I'm going to point out is, is that these are forged star rims and if you see the real car itself, these are painted satin so it's not a shiny color by no stretch of imagination or a shiny finish I should say. But on the auto art, this looks more like a flat. I know it's a little much for a criticism but it is it's a little flat so that's one thing that's a bit off the other thing that i'm really surprised at because auto art's been doing this quite often with their newer models is there's no scripting on the tires none at all you know none of the uh, manufacturer scripting nor the painted because a lot of times the uh, aventators from liberty walk would have like the painted lettering that's not on here at all so it's a tiny miss from auto art the lettering on all of the sponsorship decals very accurate very concise very legible the trim pieces that you see in black this is a gloss black that is accurate they're not they could be carbon fiber pieces but it's not carbon fiber where it's clear coat so you'd see the carbon fiber pattern so that is accurate Just moving on to the front of the model. Headlights, again, AutoArt's been doing this a long time, so there's no issues with that. Very concise, very accurate. They're aligned perfectly, so there's no issues there. Flint splitter, gloss black painted accurately. Again, not carbon fiber with clear coat. What is a, another miss, I'm going to say, is the hood itself. The hood is a flat black or an exposed carbon fiber and you'll see more of this when I do the top view. This should be gloss. This should be a shiny carbon fiber. It should be clear coated and it's not. I'm not sure why AutoArt did that. And I did tons of research to find at least one Liberty Walk with a flat black carbon fiber hood and I could not find one. Moving on to the back. Everything, of course, is in order. I really do like the, 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 the exhaust. It's centered, and I do like how it's stacked that way. So it's very nicely done. This is a metallic paint, which makes it look as if they were actually metal exhaust. They're not, but again, the paint does a really good job to make it look that way. Splitter, very well done. Painted gloss black, again, not carbon fiber, and that is correct. So I just want to make sure I point that out.
Now, this is, as I mentioned, a full opening model, if I haven't already. Um, so this is from their composite series. So this is an ABS plastic. This is not a die, die cast zinc model. So it is lighter and it is more delicate. And I'm forewarning that because I'm going to um, open up the model. And one of the things I'm always leery about with the composite is the, well, it's the opening of the model, just because the, it's so delicate. My least favorite thing to open are these doors. They are not the most easiest doors to open, unfortunately. But that's the result of using such a light material. But once you get used to doing it, it's not that bad. It's just I don't open models that, that often. But there you are. So that's the fully opening of Ventator. And this must be said, so the earlier models that AutoArt produced for the Liberty Walks, the only thing that opened was the doors. So you did not have access to the, the motor nor the uh, storage space up front. These were actually closed off. So I'm very sure AutoArt listened to their customers who demanded that if you're going to have something open, and I fully agree with them, you got to have the motor, the motor exposed as well as, you know, the front. You've, they've done it before with all their other Ventadors. Why would you skip out on the Liberty Walk models? And be honest with you, if you're going to keep something closed, I'd prefer that the doors stay closed versus the front and the back. And I'm only saying that. Perhaps, and I guess this, this is not the best model to actually make that comment for. And I'm saying that because this is a Lamborghini, so it does have the the cool um, scissor doors. But if this was just a normal model or normal car where the doors just open like 99% of most cars do, then yeah, I wouldn't care for that. I'd rather have the, the trunk and the hood open. It's just my opinion. So now we're going to move on to the interior. And again, because AutoArt has been doing it for so long, making these Aventators, they've basically mastered the interiors of these Aventators. One thing that I really wanted to point out was the, look at that floor mat. The floor mat wraps around the paddles just like the real thing does. That is a very nice touch. And it's very cool that they included that. The flocking on the uh, carpeting is really good. And the color choice. The color choice is very accurate to the real thing. So it's not too bright. And it's not dull. It's, it's just right, I think. The steering wheel. It has the Lamborghini uh, symbol on it. And it was done with a metallic paint as well, so I'm moving it back and forth so you can see the reflection on it. That's a very nice touch. Just gonna move on to the other side here. Again, this side has the floor mat included, has a nice scripting of the dashboard with the Lamborghini on it course and a switch panel and auto art's been doing this for so long that you couldn't find a better switch panel that was done I like all the textures the different colors and the material that was used this does have seat belts the seatbelt is hidden in the back there, as you can see. So 
with your seatbelt back there. And they did use, they did use the right materials for it. So I'm trying to move it for you. There you go. So again, you have your seatbelt with the buckle there as well. I can't get over how nice the seat looks on here. It's just, the plastics that are used on that are just really, really soft looking. It does not look like a typical cheap plastic seat. It's a good job. Of course they have the carpeting very accurate to the real thing. And down below you have the, ah, uh, there you are, the tank for the air ride. Okay, and it's nicely tucked down there with all the little wiring and cables and everything. That's the air ride, air rex. Okay. Be interesting if someone actually came up with a way to make the air ride actually work on a model. Pretty sure it'd be an expensive endeavor, but sure it'd be interesting. Um, since I'm here, of course, they have the perforated grills and very accurately done all throughout the model. That goes for the back as well. And since we are in the back, let's take a look at that mortar. This is what happens when you make the same model over and over and over again. You get so much better at it each time. And this is no exception. That mortar has depth to it. It has all the controls like you would expect. The scripting on the valve covers. These aren't valve covers, they're actually the intake. The intake is very accurate, very nicely done. The only criticism I'm going to have is the actual strut bar and or brace. And this is something that always bothers me and it takes the realism out of it. The plastics that have the mold line, which means that these were actually two pieces that were put together to make it, you know, circular. And you see that line going across. In reality, that's supposed to be a metal bar. And that just throws the look off for me. It just does. You can see it up here as well. The other thing that I'm going to mention is that this bar, you can see the spray, and it is supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look, you know, a little bit darker and then faded. Um, the only issue with it is that it's supposed to be metallic, and it kind of looks that way, but I am in another video we're going to compare it to another model just to show you the difference of how that should look but other than that that's a very good detailed mortar so let's move on to the top view now onto the top view um, something I haven't mentioned yet was the paint. The paint is is great. There, there's no issues with the paint at all. And AutoArt's gotten so much better at their paints. As I mentioned before, and this is a criticism, the hood, it should be a gloss carbon fiber. It should be a carbon fiber hood that should have clear coat on it. This is dull. Now, if this, model, if this car actually came this way, I wouldn't think anything of it. I really wouldn't so it doesn't detract it's just if you're one of those who seek models to be as accurate as possible well you're not going to have it there so this is something to point out the other interesting thing is is that this hood is dark and flat but lo and behold the wing is not i'm not understanding that so it wasn't as if, you see that gloss, you see that shine and reflection of a light there? 
it's not as if it was impossible for auto art to put that same effect on the hood so I just don't understand the logic behind that because this would have looked great on that hood but for some reason they didn't do it this is the out of work Liberty walk in metallic white this is the Liberty walk of Ventator. Now to my conclusions. Well, I hope you enjoyed that review of the Auto Art Lamborghini Aventador Liberty Walk in the version 2 body kit. There are a total of three Lamborghini body kits that uh, Liberty Walk created, from my knowledge anyway. The version 1 was a little more subtle. Auto Art made models of that one. Now we have that version 2, which is a little more aggressive. And then there's a third version that's extremely aggressive. It's a silhouette, as they call it, body structure or molding. And that one is pretty extreme. And Auto Art will be making those as well. So the positives. The overall execution of this model is fantastic, as you saw. It is a fully opening model, and it, it, it looks great opened or closed. Um, the textures that were used for the interior are fantastic. All the colors are spot on. The paint is really good. It doesn't have that depth, but it still looks really good. It has a speckle in it, which is really nice. So those are really the positives for this model. It's really great. Some of the negatives, that strut bar, as I mentioned in the engine, um, it has that plastic cut line. That always throws me off because then I'm reminded that this is a plastic piece that's put on here. So it does take away from that realism. And then also the paint choice. That bar is supposed to have a metallic paint co color on it. And this looks more like a rainbow on the auto art. So that is definitely a miss. The final miss is that hood. There are a few versions of this model or this car in reality. And each one of those versions has a glossy carbon fiber hood, not a flat black. Auto Art produced a silver version and it does have that flat black hood on it as opposed to a glossy carbon fiber hood. And looking at this tear sheet right here, you can see clearly the one that I'm referring to. Now there are other model companies that have produced the same version. The company I'm thinking of specifically is actually Liberty Walk themselves. And that version does have the correct glossy hood on it. So that would be the negatives. It would be interesting to see a comparison between the two. And maybe that's something that I'll do in the very near future. Um, finally, as far as values, if you're into a value appreciation, I'm going to give this a two. I'm giving it two dollar signs instead of three, which is the very top of the top, which would be excellent value, which means that the value would shoot high up to the roof. It's because there's so many versions of this model. There's so many that auto arts produced. Thus, there's so many other companies that produce it too. You have makeup that's produced some of these models. You have um, Ignition, of course, has produced it. Now, I'm not suggesting they produce the, the Lamborghini per se, but they've produced plenty of Liberty Walk models. So I wouldn't be surprised if they come around to making the Lamborghinis as well. MR Collections, of all things, that's a very high-end model company. They have versions of this Liberty Walk version. Not this exact color, but some variation of a Lamborghini, a Ventator, or um, I can't think of the other one, but you know what, the Huracan, they have versions of that as well. So that's the reason why I'm giving it two. So with this big, broad field of different models, it's kind of hard for that to stand out because there's so many versions of it. So it's not one of these singular models that there's only one version of from one company or maybe two, and there's only so a finite amount of those made. So that's why I'm giving it two stars, but it will definitely increase in value. Again, if that is your thing. I want to thank you for watching this video. I appreciate all of your support. Please like and subscribe. That is the best way I'm going to know that you're enjoying these videos. I appreciate your time and I'll see you next time.